Now maybe you're looking to change out your blade, sharpen your blades, or just clean out underneath your mower deck. The problem is you got those manly man hands like me. So the only option is to get a mower jack. The question is, which one should you get? Well, I wouldn't suggest this Harbor Freight Death Trap. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a card right here. But that leaves the question, which one should I get? Hmm. Well, I think I got the answer for you, my dudes. A lot of people have been telling me about this in the comments section, the Mojack. So I ran up to my local Home Depot and I picked one up for around $200. FYI, the link for this tool is in the description below. That's right, Mojack. Front lifting capacity, 500 pounds, hydraulic, and super simple to use. I'm gonna show you exactly how this thing gets set up, all the cool safety features, and how easy it is to store. Now, one of the things that I really wanna point out is there is no assembly required other than, well, setting the thing up. And it is super simple to use. You got the directions right up front here. They even give you a couple straps, which I'll show you how those work here in a bit. But let's go ahead and set this thing up real quick. I'll show you how fast, how simple it is, and how you can adjust it to fit your mower. Now, our mower today, we're using a Cub Cadet 42-inch cut. Now, when you get this in the box, you're going to have to put your wheel assembly right here. They go just like so. And what's cool, again, you can adjust those simply by lining up those holes and then throwing in your carter pin. You do that on both sides. And what's cool about this here, it's super simple to do. I also like how those tire mounts are a little bit smaller and hold those tires real nice like. So yeah, once you get those lined up, just throw that pin in and it's good to go. Now the other question you have is what about storage? Well, this is really cool because it compresses down into basically nothing. You can lean it up against the wall or you can hang this thing. Just take off those tire mounts and that's it. You're only looking about 62 pounds for this unit, so just throw it up on your wall stud and you're good to go. And not only that, you can wheel it back and forth with those two harder wheels right there. So smooth. All right, let's do this. We're gonna line this right up in the front of our mower. Then we're just gonna lift it up a little bit so we can get our tire mounts on there. All you gotta do is take your handle, throw it in there right like so, and then start the jacking. That'll lift it up. Now what's cool about this is that it's so smooth. It's pretty quick, but it's also effortless. Now you really don't have to bring it up that high to put those tire mounts on. I'm just trying to give you a visual, people. But as soon as you get that adjusted, throw in the first one, they go just like this, and then throw your pin in. You wanna make sure that doesn't go anywhere on you, so use it as a safety feature. Now we're gonna take the other one, throw it in on the other side, throw our pin in, and we's good to go. Now as for the straps, leave them off to the side, you don't need them right this second, just bring your jack down. Don't worry, I'll show you how to do that here in a bit. But now it is time to put our riding mower on the jack. Now, another thing I really like about this jack is that it gets really close to the ground. You don't have to fumble around with it, mess around with it. You just bring it down and then put your mower on top of it, like so. So smooth. Now that you have your tires in there, all you got to do is lift it up. And don't worry, I'll show you those straps here in a bit. I know you're very excited. Now, when you go to lift this mower with the jack, you have to turn this with the bottom of the handle to the right. And then in a bit, I will show you how to release it, but you will have to turn that to the left. And now that you have it sitting where you need it to and you turn that adjustment to the right, well, you just start jacking it up with that handle. Super, super simple to do, very easy, no stress, no strain at all. Now what you need to do that this is up in the air is, well, put your straps around the tire and also put your emergency brake on and some wheel chocks in the back of those tires. But let me show you something real quick. You got that safety feature right there where it actually locks into place. Yeah, you got three different safety settings that go automatically. They basically lock in with that rail. So if you wanna go up maybe 10 inches, it'll lock in. If you wanna go up 15 inches, it'll lock in. And then 24 inches, which is the max height on this that'll lock in as well check it out now watch how that comes down boom and then you can see it starts raising up again when you start going for the highest setting once you reach that 24 inches it'll lock again 
But what happens when I want to release it? Well, it's also very simple to do. Right here it says step down to release. So you're basically gonna have to lift that up just a little bit more because what's gonna happen is it's going to get very tight. You're not gonna be able to step down on that. So pull your lever down a little bit, then step up on it and you'll see those brackets raise up a bit. Take your handle, turn that knob to the left, and then it'll begin to come down automatically. You see how those brackets are coming up? Yeah. And what's nice about this, it never slams down to the ground. It comes down nice and slow. If you wanna stop it from coming down, simply remove your foot from that release lever and it'll lock into place again. But anytime this thing is up in the air and you are working somewhere underneath it, make sure that you tighten that lever to the right on that jack to make sure that it is locked into place. Now, before we bring this down, let me show you one thing real quick. I am releasing the pressure on this jack and still, because of those safety brackets, it's locked into place and it will not come down on you. That said, always use the proper safety precautions when you're under this, read the instructions. All right, so let's lower this bad boy. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna step on our release. You see those brackets go up and you just turn that jack to the left and it'll come down. Now I am all the way to the left and again, it is not slamming down to the ground. It goes down nice, controlled and slow, me likes. Now real quick with those straps, even though you're gonna put those wheel chocks behind that tractor and you're gonna put your emergency brake on, well, you got two straps right here to go like so, and all you have to do is tighten them down and that'll lock those wheels into place as well. So it won't go back on you or come off those jacks. You have one for each tire in the front, so that's a nice little safety feature for you. Now you can do what you need to do. If you need to take your blades off, sharpen them, put them back on, you can. Maybe you got some real moist grass underneath there and you need to clean it out. Oh, you could do that as well. 24 inch lift on this thing. So underneath is completely accessible now. And you don't have to worry about getting your manly man hands stuck underneath. Now let's talk about the build and the quality real quick. Looking at those welds, I can tell that they were done by a professional, maybe even machine welded because they are very, very good. They're not sloppy at all. They look professional. The metal used on this seems a lot thicker than the other one that I used to use. So personally, I feel confident in the build, structure, and quality of this jack. It also looks to be powder coated, so I think it's going to hold up for a very long time when it comes to rust or all that stuff. I don't think you're going to have to worry about it with this. That said, you know that we're going to do a one year later review on it, so if it doesn't hold up, we're going to call it out. All in all, the subscribers were correct. Everybody that said try the Mojack, they got it right. It's simple to use, it's built sturdy, and I love that you can put it away very easy and it doesn't take up a lot of room. However, I am curious, have you ever used the Mojack? And if you have, what do you think about it? I love hearing your comments in the comments section below. Let me know what you think. The other question is, what do you think about the Mojack now that you've seen it on this video? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Again, leave me your thoughts in the comments section. Now, if this video has helped you in any sort of way, please smash that like button as it's greatly appreciated. And if you like this video, I'm gonna put a couple more right here for you to check out. I always appreciate you stopping by, and with that, we'll be back with more videos soon.